we are ready for the party. It's still in the afternoon and the party doesn't start till the evening, but I thought I would give you a part one of the shower and show you the tables. So I have rented tables with white tablecloths and here you can see the sparkle uh, placemats that Robert so beautifully made. And then every place setting has this napkin that I made. I'm gonna put a video up about those. I made these, I bought these napkins and I made the little bows with the little sparkle on them. I love the way they look. And each place setting of course has a place card for the person's name and then a very special little favor bag. I'll show you what's in that in a minute. But here's something really special that's at every place setting. There is a provenance for all of the china settings, all of the place settings. So for example, this china is the Ainsley Cottage Garden china. This is the Wallace Grand Silver Baroque silver. And this is, I consider this my patio china and this silver is on loan from the Barrick family. So that's for that table setting, but let's look at something else. Here's another table setting. Each of these provenance cards are personalized for the place setting. So for example, this one has Wedgwood Edmay China, and this is Tower by Stratford Silver. Now the China is Robert and my wedding China. This was the pattern that we chose. And the silver is Julia's great Aunt Jean silver. So my Aunt Jean's silver, wedding silver. So two women who are honored there. And if you look at this place setting, again, personalized, this is the Homer Laughlin eggshell Nautilus tulip pattern. And the John and Priscilla Westmoreland silver. And then this is, um, the china is from Julia's great aunt Anna, my aunt Anna. And then the silver is from Grandma Verna. That was her wedding silver, my mother's wedding silver. So we're honoring all the women in our lives by showing the beautiful things that they passed down in my family. Let's take a look at what's in this Tiffany bag. First of all, we have a little bubble wand. We're gonna do bubbles at the party and I'll show you some pictures, hopefully. We have some teal or Tiffany blue M&Ms and we have a set of pearls for everyone to put on as the party starts. So a very useful party bag for everyone. The centerpieces are from Etsy. Um, a woman made these for me and they look lovely but they are a little bit too large for the table. <laughs> I'll just say that before the party starts. They're a little bit too tall and a little bit too wide. I cut them down about four inches, so they're four inches shorter than they used to be. And I cut off some of the tool, but still they're a little bit um, just too big. But you know what? I'm gonna use them anyways, because they're beautiful and they are Tiffany blue. So. Here we have this table. You can see all the individual provenance cards and all of the place cards too. And over here, another table. Tiffany blue lights on the tree. Here we have a chalice of pearls. And one of the games is to guess the number of pearls in the chalice, and then you get a prize. Here we have advice for the bride. This is a manzanita branch that I spray painted gold and I have little cards with teal ribbon that people are going to fill out and put on the tree. Now you can see that I have here this little sparkly sequined um, fabric and if you'll remember I was going to use this as a curtain but it didn't work out but I think it looks gorgeous here. And here's the last table. So I'm going to have a little bit over 40 people in the backyard here. I don't have a huge backyard, as you can see, the tables are pretty tight, but uh, I think we're gonna have a fabulous time and I'll show you part two tomorrow. And here's the welcome sign. Welcome darlings, please find your seat and enjoy Julia's bridal shower.